avoid mystics, avoid mystics, avoid all mystics at all cost. One, uh, especially when you apply the fertilizers the way you've applied, you cannot just apply and leave it the way it is, especially to the farmer who is using drip irrigation. Remember, drip irrigation is not like my system of irrigation. It's not pouring the water from above. Uh, but for the farmer who is using ovide irrigation, for the farmer who is using um, basin irrigation, for the farmer who is using fire irrigation, you can irrigate comfortably. But the farmer who is using uh, drip irrigation, you need to be very cautious after applying your fertilizer. That's why I started by saying avoid mistakes because these mistakes can cost you a lot. Remember, I told you, if uh, the fertilizer that I'm using is less nitrogenous, but that doesn't mean it's not going to scorch your seedlings. It's going to scorch your seedlings. So, what do you do? After you applied the fertilizer, the next thing that should follow, and you are, no, you are not supposed to think about it, no argument, no nothing, is irrigation. And if, if you are not ready for irrigation, if you are not ready for the irrigation, please, please don't apply any fertilizer. Go the foliar way. If you apply the foliar, there is no need of falling your, your seedlings with the irrigation, if you apply the foliar. But if you do the granule fertilizer, especially for the farmers who go for the urea, especially for the farmers who go for the, uh, the CAN or the CAN, uh, whichever name you use, Usually use the irrigation. The next thing after applying the fertilizer, go for irrigation. Few minutes. Don't wait for hours. Few minutes because the fertilizer hazard is agroscopic. It is going to get to draw water out of the, the seed tree. The fertilizer is um, a scorching effect. It is going to start affecting your seedlings. So that this is a, a, a must. It's supposed to be done. After fertilizer, don't even think about it click the next button which is irrigation and as you can see uh, my system of irrigation is is over irrigation uh, which has always given me confidence uh, uh, to do the fertilizers to do the granule fertilizers regardless of what and that is what I'm doing at the moment applying uh, the water or doing my irrigation after I've done my first fertilizer this is my first fertilizer and uh, from here you are going to enjoy everything so don't ignore the irrigation always go for the irrigation because this word is going to save you from any burning effect other than burning effect let's go away from the burning effect let's assume your fertilizer is organic it's not going to bring the scorching effect or the manufacturer has told you it's it's not scorching these fertilizers for good optic, for the necessary optic, for the betterment of the plant, which, because that is our main focus, we want to better the plant, you need water. You need to irrigate your seedlings. So that's why even if you choose the organic way, in organic way, you use the fertilizer, you need to do the irrigation. And there is nothing uh, we can say about that. There is nothing we can compromise about that. There is nothing less, nothing more. It's all like that. The books may not tell you that. I don't know whether the book says that, but that's how it's supposed to be done. Uh, again, I repeat for the um, uh, drip irrigation farmers, you need to be very cautious on applying water uh, because I know when it comes to drip irrigation, we have timely application of water. And now, after applying the fertilizer the way we've applied, we need to apply the fertilizer until all the fertilizer dissolves. Until you see the soil on the top of the bed is well watered because the drip, you know, applies the water uh, on, a, on, a, on a line on uh, using the emitter. So you need to make sure the, the, the fertilizer is well dissolved and it's for the benefit and for the betterment of your siblings. Hope you're learning. Hope we are hard part. Hope you are taking note as far as taking caution or uh, maintaining or avoiding unnecessary uh, dangers to the young seedlings is concerned. Water is key. 
sometimes there are, fort, there are farmers who usually use excess foliage and it end up scorching their siblings. Some, sometimes there are farmers who use um, the weed, weed control product and they end up uh, scorching the main field. By the way, don't use a weed control product in your nursery. Don't use that. I'm going to show you how we are going to eat our nursery. Uh, if by any chance you ever use uh, a weed control and it affects your nursery, all you need is water. Do excess irrigation and it will help uh, control the, the, the poison. It will help uh, bring back the seedling to where it's supposed to be. If this is your first time that you're watching me, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel so that we can continue learning together. Also, you can become a member of this YouTube channel. By becoming a member of this YouTube channel, you support what I do and you push for better content because oh, you all know that everything here um, is money, everything here is an investment. So if you like it, become, subscribe to be a member of this YouTube channel and your support is will be highly appreciated. Bye.